Hi pals and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. Actually today I wanted to bring you my AMX 12T review but I'm not selling it after all today. Actually I wanted to sell it today but I've reconsidered because I can only sell it for half price today because there's a special going so all the French tanks are half price but that also means that you can only sell them for half price. So I've decided to rather bring you a tutorial today because I've been talking about making a tutorial for ages now and it's finally time to do it and also I've just brought you two reviews on my channel over the last few days so I figured it would be a bit too much if I brought you another like 40 minutes video today so this tutorial is going to be quite short but it's going to be really important because it's going to be about ammunition types and ammunition types is something that you really have to understand if you want to become a good World of Tanks player ammunition is really really important it's going to be a short video but really important so please stay tuned basically we've got four different types of ammunition in this game that's AP, APCR, HE and heat ammo and I will be going into detail about all these ammunition types uh, now and explaining you the pros and cons of them and when you should use them and for what purposes so I'm going to use my T29 as an example here because it's got a very very classic ammunition loadout however we'll be also looking at my Leopard 1 here because it's also got some quite interesting ammo but first of all it's about this body here the T29 so if we go to the service down here we can see right here ammunition in the service window you first of all I would always recommend to just hit automatically supply ammunition because that will just automatically restock your ammunition every time when you come back out of the battle and I'm sorry if that's really basic now but I think there are a few people out there that might even not know that and if you know this just I'm really sorry but I just will quickly go through this now here by dragging these bars here left and right you can adjust the amount of ammo you want if you want to do it more exactly you can do it with these arrow keys and as you can see each tank or nearly every tank there's some tanks in the game that only get the choice of one or two ammo types but nearly every tank in the game gets the choice of three ammo types and there's no tank in the game that gets more than three ammo types to choose from and with the t29 it's armor piercing or ap armor piercing composite rigid or apcr and high explosive or HE ammo and most tanks in the game use this loadout and I would always stack uh, some ammunition of each type and um, most of all the standard ammunition because that's the one you will be firing the most which is AP on this tank and I'll be quickly talking about this now armor piercing is the standard ammo in the game that most tanks default to and armor piercing ammo can only deal out damage if your shot penetrates the enemy's armor. You can see your penetration values if you mouse over. Down there it says penetration or you can also see it right here. So the there's a kind of a random uh, RNG, it's called random number generator. So that kind of generates numbers randomly as the name already suggests. And you can see that the penetration values of your ammo will, will vary between 149 millimeters and 248 millimeters. And also you can see right here, let's see if we pull up the gun stats of the T29's gun, we can see that the average penetration of a gun with standard ammo is 198mm. So that means that, for example, if your enemy's got 200mm of armor, you've got fairly slim chances of penetrating him, but it could still happen. So there you go, that's a penetration. If your penetration value is higher than the enemy's armor value and you penetrate, then you will do your full damage of 240 to 400 HP damage. Your average damage in this gun is 320 as you can see down here. And you can only do damage if you penetrate. If the enemy's armor value exceeds your penetration value with AP ammo, you will ricochet off the enemy's armor and won't do any damage. Also, armor piercing ammo can cause critical damage if it penetrates the enemy in the right spot. That means it has to, you have to hit the enemy in the right spot and it has to penetrate the tank there. Then you can knock out enemy crew members or damage modules, for example, blow up his ammo rack or set him on fire or damage his gun, for example. You can learn exactly where these spots and tanks are to aim at. For example, check out my weak spot videos or hit zone videos, I call them by now, uh, for that. That's really useful if you've got that knowledge but it's quite difficult to acquire generally speaking if you aim at the rear of a tank 
you will set him on fire. If you aim at the rear of the turret, you will blow a Zamorak, if you're lucky. But there's also a bit of randomiz randomization in it and luck. Also, this ammo here gets normalization. Now, that's very difficult to understand if you don't know what it is. But basically, most armor surfaces in the game are angled. Like, for example, the upper glacius plate, this plate here, of the T29. And if a shot hits it, this upper glacius plate, we can quickly check the value. It's got, let's see, 102 millimeters of armor, this bit here. But it's not 102 millimeters, really. It's more than that, because the, there's a certain formula after which the, armor the actual armor value of this plate is calculated with the sloping. And the more sloping uh, armor surface has got, the more armor it has got. So this is probably more like 150 to 160 millimeters of armor here, and not 102. Yeah, and the steeper the surface's slope, the higher the armor will be. But with armor piercing ammo, what you get is normalization. So that means that if the round hits the armor of the tank, the angle of impact will be redirected 10 degrees towards the armor angle. So that means, for example, uh, if this armor surface is 60 degrees, it will only count for 50 degrees when this shell here hits the armor. And that means that penetrating angled surfaces is a lot more easy with armor piercing ammo. Uh, than for example with other ammo types that don't get normalization so i hope you understand it if you didn't understand or i made it unclear please let me know in the comments and i'll try to explain it to you again or i don't know somehow link you to a picture that explains it or something but it's, it's you know it's just really difficult to explain but i hope you got it also the last feature of armor piercing that i want to uh, explain to you is that it also loses penetration over distance that means that a round of armor piercing ammo fired from this gun will have more penetration when it hits an enemy at 100 meters range than at 200 meters range because the, it's it's obvious because the shell slows down over distance so i think that makes sense so next we'll talk about armor piercing composite rigid or apcr ammo which is the standard premium ammo on most vehicles and it has to be bought for gold or an extreme amount of credits. Like, for example, if you look at this, the standard purchase price for armor piercing ammo is 1,000 credits a shell, which is quite a lot, but it's still acceptable. But 4,800 credits per shell is just ridiculously expensive. So that means that if you, you basically, armor piercing comes with rigid ammo is better than AP ammo, but it costs a bomb and you basically can't afford to uh, run your tanks with premium ammo as default. Also, you can choose, as I already said, between using gold or credits to buy this ammunition. And armor piercing comes with rigid ammunition is really interesting. Basically, it gets, it's like armor piercing ammo, it deals exactly the same damage, it behaves itself very similarly, however, it gets a lot more penetration, as you can see here, its average da penetration values are 184 to 306 millimeters, and if we compare that to the 149 to 248 millimeters of the armor piercing ammo, we can see that APC ammo gets a lot more penetration. Also, if we look at the gun stats here in the left corner, we can see that the penetration value of APCR is the second value listed here by penetration. So we can see that it surpasses the AP penetration by nearly 50 millimeters, so that's really good, and uh, that means that you will be able to slice through some enemies that you wouldn't be able to penetrate with AP ammo, and uh, that can give you a significant advantage if you use this ammunition wisely in the battle. But as I said, it's very expensive. Also, there are some other drawbacks about this ammunition, except for the high cost which would be that it loses penetration a lot faster over distance than AP ammo does. So basically, when you fire when you fire at a tank that's 10 meters away from you with a PCR ammo, it will have a lot more penetration than, for example, if you would fire AP ammo at a tank at the same distance. But if you fire a PCR ammo at a tank 300 meters away, the penetration values will probably be about the same as if you had fired AP ammo at him, and AP ammo was a lot cheaper. And also another interesting thing is that the higher the caliber of your gunners, the less penetration loss APCR ammo has got in comparison to AP ammo. So that means, for example, if you are in a fighting vehicle 1.8, okay, that's not really a good comparison, it means a fighting vehicle 1.8.3 doesn't really fire any 
uh, HP APCR ammo. But for example, if you're in a 150 millimeter cannon and you fire APCR ammo, uh, it will have an a lot higher penetration than if you would fire AP ammo, even at distance. Or it won't have higher penetration, but it will be quite similar the penetration value. Now you might be afraid because you, for example, own a Leopard One or another tier 10 medium tank, and you might think, okay, well. I've got APC ammo as default ammo that I buy for credits, and it lo I, and I use the leopard one. For example, I myself use the leopard one as a sniper mostly. And then you might think, oh, oh my gosh, I use this tank as a sniper and it loses penetration a lot faster over distance. Now that's wrong. If your tank defaults to APCR ammo as standard ammunition, your penetration loss over distance will be exactly the same as with AP ammo on normal tanks. So there you go, It's you don't have to be afraid, sniping will be still as efficient as if you would be using AP ammo. Another great advantage of APCR ammo is that it's gotten a lot higher shell velocity than AP ammo. That means the shell travels very, very quickly, a lot quicker than AP ammo. That means that sniping is a lot easier with this kind of ammunition because you don't have to lead your shots as much as with AP ammo. Yeah, so that kind of does us for APCR ammo. So next we'll talk about HE ammo or high explosive. And high explosive is again really, really interesting. Basically, it trades penetration for higher alpha damage and it also costs quite a bit less than AP ammo. So high explosive ammunition has got very very low penetration as I already said. If we look here you, we can see that the high explosive ammo has only got 400 to 66 millimeters of penetration or if we look here 53 millimeters of average penetration right here. So that's really really poor. If you think about it this gun will be firing at like tier 7 and 8 and 9 tanks. For example the IS, the IS-8, the IS-3, the Tiger 2 try penetrating a Tiger II frontally with 40 to 66 millimeters of penetration, but you've basically got no chance. However, HE ammunition gets a lot higher damage values. Normally that's about 25% more than AP and APCR ammo get. If we look right here, we can see that the damage value of the HE ammo is 420 hit points, while the other two ammunition types only get 320. Now that's really, really useful. If you use this ammunition carefully, and in the right kind of situations, it can be really deadly and effective. For example, if you're encountering something like a Waffenträger Alpha 100 or another tank from that tank line, but it's got basically no ammo whatsoever, you'll be able to load HE ammo and significantly significantly increase your DPM on the tank by doing that and for example maybe free shot the tank rather than five shot him so that's really useful and I would always stack some HE ammo on your tank but that's not the only advantage of HE ammo this ammunition type can do splash damage that means that if it fails to penetrate the enemy vehicle which is quite likely with these low penetration values it will explode on its armor on the outside and do splash damage. The amount of splash damage you do is decreased by the amount of armor that is on the surface where you hit the enemy. So for example, if you hit uh, IS frontally, you will be doing more splash damage if you don't penetrate with this gun than, for example, if you hit an IS-7, because IS-7 obviously gets more armor. All HE rounds have got a very small splash damage radius. For example, with this round, it's 105 millimeters. I'd probably say it's maybe 1 meter or 1.5 meters, I'm not quite sure. Please tell me in the comments if you know any exact figures, but I'd say it's about 1 meter or maybe only 75 centimeters of splash radius. What that basically means is that if you hit the ground next to an enemy vehicle, the round will explode when hitting the ground and maybe do some splash damage to the enemy. But the further away your round hits, the less damage you will be doing. And if your round hits outside your splash radius from the enemy vehicle, you will not be doing any damage whatsoever. So, HE ammo is, it can be very useful in some situations. It's also very good for cap breaking because if you think of it, you only have to, for example, track an enemy by doing splash damage or do one HP damage to him and the cap will be reset. So that's really useful for cap breaking. I always pack quite a few rounds of HE, especially after update 8.9 with the Waffen Traegers introduced because that just really helps. And another interesting fact about HE is that it doesn't lose any penetration over distance in comparison to AP or APCR ammo. But all the same, I think HE is the least effective ammunition type and usually you shouldn't be using it except for in some situations when you're, for example, firing at very, very lightly armored targets. And 
yeah, I would always pack some rounds, as I said, but not all that many. And basically, I would always pack the like usually 90% of the rounds or 80% of standard ammo, and then maybe 15% or 10% of armor piercing, composite rigid or premium ammo, and then maybe 5 to 10% of HE ammo. So that's the way I would basically divide up the loadout. Now we've still got one ammunition type to go really, which is high explosive anti-tank ammo, which is fired by tank howitzers, SPGs, and also a lot of high tier tank guns. So I'll be quickly looking at the Leopard 1, because the Leopard 1 also fires high explosive anti-tank ammo. And this is a very, very interesting ammo type, and you really have to understand it. Now, First of all, you have to know that the Leopard 1 defaults to APCR ammo, as I already pointed out. But, as I also said, but I'm just going to say it again because it's quite important, tanks that default to APCR ammo as a standard ammo don't lose as much penetration with the APCR shells over distance as normal tanks would with the APCR shells. So the penetration loss with APCR shells and these kind of tanks over distance is exactly the same as with AP shells on normal tanks. This tank here packs high explosive anti-tank ammo or heat ammo as premium rounds and the deal with heat is basically that you get ridiculous amounts of penetration but in the end you won't be able to penetrate most targets anyway because it doesn't get any armor normalization so it will basically have to deal with a full angle of the armor and you cannot really fire it at space armor because the space armor will just absorb it and it won't go through basically so high explosive anti-tank can be good in some situations but it can be really bad in others again for example if i was encountering a super pershing with this tank here and if we look at it, the high explosive anti-tank ammo gets 330 millimeters of penetration. I could not penetrate the front of a super person with this ammo because the space damage would just straight away absorb it. So you cannot ever fire this ammo at space damage. Also, no, don't fire it ever, for example, at the side of the mouse because that's got side skirts to it will be absorbed. Nothing will happen. So you always have to watch out for that. Also, of course, you don't want to hit angled surfaces. For, for example, you don't want to be firing a heat ammo shell at the front of an AMX 50 Fosh 155 because it will ricochet off because of the extreme angle, probably. So you always have to be very, very careful when using high explosive anti-tank. But you might think, high explosive, well, it's high explosive, it will do splash damage. Well, that's not true. High explosive anti-tank ammo is basically like AP ammo, only with some high explosive characteristics. So you don't lose penetration over distance. You don't get any armor normalization. I, by the way, forgot to point that out about HE ammo. HE ammo also doesn't get any armor normalization and you cannot penetrate spaced ammo with this ammo realistically. So, except for that, you won't be doing any splash damage with hand, uh, high explosive anti-tank ammo. You cannot do splash damage. It's very different from HE in that respect. And it will only do damage if you penetrate the tank you're shooting at. So always be very, very careful with that. And usually, I would prefer APCR ammo rather than heat ammo as premium ammo. Just because if you think of it, there's not, there aren't really many tanks in the game that haven't got angled armor and usually APCR ammo is a lot more reliable than heat ammo. For example, heat ammo would be a big advantage if you were firing at the front of a turret of a T29. You could put a shell right through his gun mantle, or you could also penetrate a mouse in the front of a turret maybe, or an E100 with high explosive anti-tank ammo, which you couldn't do with your APCR ammo. So that's an advantage, but it can also be a disadvantage. And a disadvantage. And a lot of people think, oh my gosh, I've got 330 millimeters of penetration. I'm invincible. But that's not true. You have to think a lot when you fire high explosive anti. Tank ammo. So I think that's kind of taken us through all the ammo types. I just want to quickly say a few things about HE still that I forgot. That is that you've also got ammo types like Premium HE that's fired by SPGs and HESH that's fired by some of the high tier British tanks, for example the FE 4202 or the FE 215 B183. And basically HESH is exactly the same as HE ammo, but some of the HESH ammo types, for example on the FE 215 B183, the Premium HESH ammo or on the FE 4202 also the premium hash ammo trade a bit of penetration but not as much penetration as standard HE or hash ammo for a lot more damage so that basically means that you get HE ammo uh, but with a little bit better penetration or quite a bit better penetration actually for premium ammo prizes and that can be an advantage but also a disadvantage but never forget that hash basically is 
uh, high explosive ammunition, even if you're firing it as premium ammo and gets better penetration. And that will mean that you do not want to fire it at angled surfaces, you do not want to fire it at spaced armor, and if your shot doesn't penetrate, it will be doing splash damage and not the full damage. So always keep that in the back of your head. Now I'm just going to quickly tell you what's the story with SPG premium ammo. And that's basically exactly the same as HE ammo, only that it has got a larger splash damage. A picture of how this, this ammo type looks will be flashing up on screen right now. And... Basically, it's exactly the same as HE, only it's got the highest splash damage radius, and I already explained what that is. Now, one last thing I forgot, and then we're done with this tutorial, uh, is that AP ammo and APC ammo, so these two ammo types here, have got the ability after patch 8.10, and that's basically the reason why I left this, pre uh, this tutorial till now when 8.10 was released. These two ammo types have now got the uh, ability to penetrate through destructible objects for example a fence or a wall or something so you can basically fire through a wall or a fence with these two ammo types and still damage an enemy behind that fence or object but you will lose some penetration these are the only two ammo types with which that is possible you are not able to do that with high explosive ammo or heat ammo or hash ammo do not try that you will just waste your ammunition it will not work it's just basically like firing it at, at uh, space armor it will not work so yeah that's basically it for this tutorial I'm sorry that it maybe was a bit dry and not all that entertaining, but you know, I just think this is a really, really important thing and you really have to understand it in order to improve your playing skills effectively. And I hope that you now understand ammunition better and will be able to apply it in the game. Um, if you do not know how to change ammunition types in the game, you select your type of ammunition with the 1, 2 and 3 keys on the top left corner of your keyboard so you basically just uh, jump up and then if you press 2 you will swap to high explosive anti-tank ammo in this case and the leopard and then if you press 3 you will swap to high explosive ammo you can also see your ammo selection in the bottom corner of your HUD if you're playing so I hope you well I don't want to say you enjoyed this video because you probably didn't but I hope you learned some something from it and if you did consider giving it a thumbs up below or even subbing to my channel probably a few more practical tutorials are coming up soon about armor angling, camouflage values, light tanks and stuff like that, scouting, medium tank tutorials, stuff like that all coming up and also watch out for my AMX 12T video coming up soon and uh, thanks for watching as usual and I'll see you on the battlefield, bye bye.